Hey everybody, welcome back to One Room Over Gaming. Uh, today I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play of West of Loathing. And I am now at the carnival. I am I am in the carnival and I have trying to figure out just what I need to be doing here, if anything. So I'm going to just start over here. Uh, there's a clown selling rubber toy balloons. When he sees he has your attention, he smiles and waggles the balloons at you enticingly. Talk to the clown. Howdy there, fella. Interest you in a toy balloon? How how much? What colors? How do you make them float? How much are they? For you, just 30 mean. What colors do you have? We'll just take a look. Red. They're all red. And how do you make them float? Why, there's nothing to it. Heck, they all float round here. I feel like that's a uh, an it reference. I'll take one. Alrighty then, here you go. Got an item. Balloon. What's my balloon do? It's red. That's all. It's just there for fun. Hey. I wanted to know more about the circus. Can you tell me more about your circus? Really, it's more of a carnival, but let's not split hairs. Ho ho. What would you like to know? What are your traveling plans? Haven't decided yet. That's why we set down somewhere a bit more rural. Keeps things relatively quiet while we scout around and get the lay of the land and all. You guys are a criminal operation, aren't you? Where did you travel from? Was your previous stop interesting? Oh, northwest-ish. It was a little hole-in-the-ground kind of a place. You wouldn't have heard of it, ho-ho. Why is everyone working here a clown? Ew, it's traditional. When the, what do you call them, rodeos stopped being put on, the rodeo clowns took other jobs at the circuses and carnivals. Over the years, it just became the normal thing for carnies to be clowns. It's a community, you might say. Ho-ho. Who's this Barnaby Bob? Oh, the boss is a real famous showman, though I'm not surprised you wouldn't have heard of him around here. Oh, got an eye like a hawk, and he's a real whiz with those knives of his. Don't miss his show, it's a real highlight of the carnival. Alright, clown. I'll see you around. Catch you later, alligator. Alright, test my might. Well, howdy there, fella. This here's game challenge and strength, and I hope you don't mind me saying, but you might prefer one of the other games. If you care to try your luck, though, I certainly won't stop you. What's the game, smartass? Simple as can be. Just take this big mallet here and hit the lever under that bell. Ring the bell and you can win. What's the prize? Ticket to Barnaby Bob's stage show, which is otherwise sold out. So it's a rare catch, my friend. I'll give it a shot. Clown takes your meat and puts the big mallet on the counter. Good luck. Hit it not hit it not very hard. Hit it kind of hard. Oh, I'm gonna hit it not very hard. You heave the mallet off the counter and struggle to carry it over to the lever, which you don't so much hit as drop the mallet onto it. Completely out of breath, the little bell striker doesn't move at all. Wow, is there a word for when something is so unimpressive it actually becomes impressive as a result? Shut up, clown. What is my must... What is my must... 17? Can I up that? Do I have a hat for that? Um... Tombstone Pizza... Muscle by five. Oh my god. Where's my grit? Get my grit! Alright, I'll grit it up. So, now I can eat my pizza. There we go. Tombstoned! That's funny. Um. What does tombstone mean? Where's that? I don't know. Alright, so my muscle is I will chest my might again. Come on, clown. Let's do it. I will play your game. I will play your game of of hit the hit quite hard. Take a deep breath and smash that lever with a mighty swing. The little bell striker makes it nearly, but not quite, to the bell. Well, now, that was very close. Not a grand prize winner, but it's the best I've seen today, and that's got to be worth something. He hands you a small teddy bear. I got a small plush bear. Can I put that in my offhand? Because your fist and feels like it's been stuffed with gravel. Um, what do I put in? I bet. Yep, I can put that in my offhand. So I'm going to do that. I don't need a filthy porcelain cow. Who are you? What do you want? Kid here searching with a sad look on his face. Talk to him. Did you lose your parents? I locked my I lost my lucky bottle cap. You haven't seen it, have you, sir? No, but I'll keep an eye out. What's it look like? It's shiny steel and it's on a little chain. I'll let you know if I find it, bud. 
Let's test my mind. I know this is gonna be ugly. Card-based carnival game. Greetings and salutations, fellow. This is a game designed to test your intelligence and capacity for abstract thought. And, uh, well, if you care to try your luck, far be it for me to obstruct you. What's the game? Simplest guessing game imaginable. I've got a standard deck of playing cards here. I'll show you all the faces, and then I turn them back over and you start picking cards. You guess what cards I pick and you win. You don't shuffle them? No, sir. If you can memorize a deck of cards that fast, more power to you. Or if you got a touch of magic in you and don't... and want to try reading my mind, that's fine too. Just don't dig too deep. I'll give it a shot. Carefully scan the deck of cards as the clown spreads it out in front of you, and then he turns them over with a sweeping flourish. Oh, jeez. I might be out of my... I might be out of my element here. The clown starts picking cards out of the deck and holding them up with the backs to you. You don't manage to guess a single one of them. In fact, you can't even remember what the black thing that looks like a shovel is called. Oh. Dang it. I don't know that I'm going to be very good in this carnival. That muscly clown doesn't seem to want you to go in here. Talk to him. Clown cl crosses his arms and grunts when you approach. Ticket, please. Ticket for what? Barnaby Bob's Stunt Spectacular. Can you sell me a ticket? No, I'm out. Can anyone else send me a ticket? You can win one at one of the games. So if I go over here to this little ticket counter... Tickets to the sideshow. Interest you in the wondrous, mysterious delights of the sideshow? How much? 300 meat? Uh, for everyone else, 300 meat? What do you have? Secrets, mysteries, things too weird, disturbing to be witnessed by the lot of day. Freaks? Not just freaks. Gosh. Let's go. Won't be disappointed in the event that you are disappointed. No refunds. Alright. Well, I'll do my best to not be disappointed then, you fruit loopy old clown. Sideshow tent is fairly large and packed with weird things to look at, like all good sideshows are. A few lanterns are hanging from the ceiling, casting, f casting flickering shadows around and making everything look more eerie. A clown is hanging out in here, presumably to keep an eye on the exhibits. He grins and nods as you enter. Come on, take your time. Have a good look around. Just remember, no touching. I'm going to touch everything. This will be one of those mirrored, crazy, crazy stuff mirrors. Shows what you'd look like in clown makeup. Bloodshot eyes stare back at you from a pasty white face painted with an odd pattern of red triangles. In the flickering lantern light, it almost looks like he winks at you. What about this one? It makes you look really stretched out and thin. Your limbs twist and writhe like snakes as you move around. It's a bit unsettling, and your muscles ache a little, sympathetically. Your reflection in the mirror is short and squashed looking, folded up like an accordion. You spend a moment moving back and forth in front of the mirror, seeing how the image changes. It's kind of amusing. What about you? Based on his attitude, uniquely combining attentiveness and extreme boredom, you assume this clown's job is to keep an eye on the sideshow exhibits. Thanks, what's the scene here? Spooky warped mirrors, clown eggs, pickled punks, freak show, uh, okay. Ask a question. What's with those weird mirrors? Ain't they a riot? That's what they call an optical illusion, as I understand it. It has to do with the way the light reflects off them. I am 100% sure that what I saw can't be explained by the reflection of light. <laughs> no telling what you might see if you look too long. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep my eye on you, funny clown. Several shelves full of white eggs, each one painted with a unique pattern of colorful shapes. A small placard pinned to one of the shelves says clown eggs. In the circus community, it is traditional for each clown to paint their own chosen makeup pattern onto an egg shell. These clown eggs are archived for future reference to ensure that no one chooses a pattern that has already been used. It is considered extremely taboo to wear another clown's face. These must be the eggs for the clowns that work in this circus. You recognize a few of them, like the clown here in the sideshow tent and the ticket seller clown out front. Expect more closely. Hey, step back, please. No touching. Oh, well, shit. Filled with jars, and the jars are filled with things. Lean in a little closer to inspect the jars. They mostly contain malformed end or mutated animals pickled in formaldehyde. Three-headed kitten, some kind of ferret or weasel with eight legs, twisted Mobius loop of snake without a head or tail. Weird, crazy stuff. One shelf seems devoted to huge, huge gross, pale grubs like fat, featureless white worms the size of a sweet potato. The one on the end is larger than the others and has shiny black eyes. Someone has painted its face in an apparent parody of clown makeup. Take a closer look. The pasty white face has been painted with little blue triangles over and under the eyes. 
creature has a long, thin slash of a mouth as well, and the air around it has been painted with bright red lipstick. The black eyes flash red as the thing suddenly thrashes in its jar, spinning to face you and stretching its mouth open, revealing rows of yellow shark teeth. You stumble back with a cry of shock. Well, uh, got you pretty good there, buddy. What is that? It ain't a real critter. It's made of rubber and clay and doll parts and such. Got an electromagnet under the shelf to move it with. Takes a little push button, gives him out of his pocket to show you. Should have seen your face. You about jumped right out of your boots. Oh. What is this big walking... Hold on now. Big walking eyeball thing. This guy is a startling sight. Even for a circus freak show, his entire head is one enormous eyeball. As you look him over, he stares back at you. Not that he's got much choice. Hello, I'm Yancey. I don't think he can talk. How's it going? Can he talk? No. Guess not. Uh, take a closer look. A little to the side and lean over the rope to get a closer look at the guy. He's basically just what he seems to be at first glance. A guy with a giant eyeball for a head. You do notice two things, though. First, he has an odd lump at the... Well, what you would call the base of his skull, if he had one. A sort of crumpled, fleshy mass the size of a fist. With a squint and some imagination, almost looks like the crushed and shriveled vestigial remains of a human head. The second thing you notice is that his ankles are locked to the legs of his stool, and the legs of his stool are bolted to the floor. Uh, so the circus gig. How do you like it? His hands slowly curl in the fist, and the knuckles turn white with tension. I see. Or, I understand. Do you blink? No. Or wink, I guess? I guess not. Okay, well, I'll see you around. As I don't think I can help you. Neatly dressed. Though his suit is a bit threadbare and out of fashion, he's smoking a pipe and leafing through a magazine. He nods amicably. Hello there. Welcome to my sideshow. My name is Douglas. Hi, I'm Nancy. Delighted to meet you. So, uh, well, are you perhaps trying to think of a polite way to ask what's wrong with me? Yeah, you got me. Don't worry, Yancey. I am in a sideshow, after all. It's an obvious and natural question. Wait a minute. You said the last bit without moving your lips. Are you a ventriloquist? Not at all. Allow me to demonstrate. He stands up and turns around. His back is the same as his front. That is, his suit has been tailored with two front sides, and he has another face on the back of his head, with his haircut parted appropriately. Ta-da! As he sits back down, he... His knees and other joints crack and pop loudly as they reverse themselves. Douglas winces slightly, though certainly not as much as you would expect. What the... Surprising, yes? A bit, yeah. How's that even possible? Douglas shrugs and holds his pipe up to the now back of his head so his other face can take a... puff. Are you... what's the phrase? Siamese twins? Not exactly. It's difficult to describe, I'm afraid. Two minds and one body with two faces. It would be closer to the truth to say two instances of the same mind with, as you say, two faces. You're right. That doesn't make any sense at all. The other face chuckles, and Douglas holds his magazine behind his back. It took some getting used to, that much is quite certain. Were you born like this? I'd rather not discuss how I came to be this way, if you don't mind. Okay, sorry. No apology. Necessary. Your knees must be a wreck. Now, surgery was necessary to permit them to bend in both directions. It sounds worse than it feels, I assure you. Why are you in a sideshow? Well, that's pretty straightforward. With a regular suit and haircut, you could easily pass for normal. I have a contract. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot a, the clown making a gesture, but you didn't catch what it was. Douglas clears his throat. Plus, well, it's quite the life, you know? Free room and board, travel the world, and you meet such interesting people. He's being threatened. That's what that is. Lady here with her head sticking out of a hole in a large metal box. She nods politely to you. Or, hello. Hello there, enjoying the carnival? Well, it's interesting. She smiles slightly. Yes, I'm sure it is. Can I ask you a question? Because I'm gonna. Certainly. Why are you in a box? First things first, we haven't been introduced yet. Oh, I'm Yancey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Yancey. I'm Janet. Hi, Janet. So, uh, why are you in a box? That's a rather personal question, isn't it? Oh, sorry. I'm only teasing, dear. Would you like to see inside? I would. Janet whistles to signal the clown, and he moseys over. He unlocks the door on the front box and throws it open with a theatrical flourish. Inside, instead of Janet's body, you see a tangled, complicated assortment of glass tubes and pipes, ticking clockwork gears and pumps, liquids of various colors, mostly red, slosh through the tubes. And a large bellows near the top inflates, then begins to slowly deflate. What do you think? That's some kind of trick, right? You're folded up behind a mirror in there or something. No trick. The clown chuckles and walks around the back of the box. He opens a hatch and waves at you through it, then saunters back to his place by the shelves. It's amazing! I've never seen anything like it. 
Well, I'll take that as a compliment. It's certainly educational, I imagine. The larger tank on the left is my stomach, if you'd like to see what I had for lunch today. Um, examine her workings. I got a perk, anatomical learning. Good. Watch the liquid slosh around their tanks and pipes. Um, how did this happen? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 I want... I want to talk to her again. Uh, yes, can I ask you a question? How are you feeling? How did this happen? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about that. Of course, sorry, it must be a painful memory. He calmly composes... his Her calmly composed face creases into a very slight grimace as she shoots a sidelong glance at the clown. Yes. Can I go fight that clown? Nice to meet you, Janet. So long. Good luck, Yancy. Uh, I kind of feel like the glass sphere that I need might be... Ask a question. Um, about these people. You mean the freaks? Ain't they a scream? The one with the giant eyeball head is my favorite. Nice, quiet fella. Uh-huh. If you have questions about the other two, feel free to ask them personally. I wouldn't want to be telling tales out of school since the eye guy can't talk, though. You can ask me about him if you want. Okay. Can you tell me about him? Not much, I'm afraid. To be honest, he joined us oh, about a year ago. Maybe a little less. Where did he come from? Why is he locked to his chair? Oh, you noticed that, did you? A real shame, that is. Fella's a bit unpredictable. Has a violent spell once in a while. Gosh. Don't worry, nun. I'm keeping an eye on him. How'd he get like that? I don't trust you. Couldn't tell ya. I bet you've got a theory, at least. <laughs> well, maybe he saw something no human fella should ever see. Where'd he come from? No idea. Weird, ain't it? You think fella looks like that? You've read about him in all the papers, right? Yeah. It sure is mysterious. Okay, bye. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I don't trust you people. But I'm leaving. I got. I want to go look at other stuff. I think I was heading over to the millinery. Oh, fight the damn odorgeist. Because I gotta go. I initially took off on a little trip to go stop criminals, but I think I accidentally stumbled on it. Criminal clowns. Oh, I'm surprised that odor, odor guy to actually made it through that one. That's okay. Boom! That's enough of you, odor guyst. Alright. Alice surveys the scene and jots some notes in her little notebook. She's gotten stronger. Good. Strong Alice is good news for me. Hats. Can I... Why is the A on the ground? What's this? Can I forage? Anything else? Okay, well they gotta be in there. Let's go get them. You walk into the millinery and you find five bandits lounging around on big piles of half-made hats. It's the law, skedaddle! The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each shutting themselves behind a different door. Guess you'll have to wrangle them individually. Oh, I'll wrangle them. Crates full to the top with brims. This was apparently the demo model from a player piano showroom. It's only got three songs in it. They're all children's versions of traditional songs that are in the recently invented public domain. And they're all set up to play just a few first seconds on a loop. The people who work there must have hated it. What song do you set the dial to? The Yellow Rose of Public Domain, My Old Public Domain Home, Public Domain Joe. Alright. You've changed the song on the piano. Got this pile of hats. Like they're more comfortable to sit on than to wear. I'm going to the office first. Remaining bands will corner you if you go in there now. Okay, fine. Then I'll... Sc this is dumb. I'll screw you up. Is this where they're hiding? Oh! Bandit unceremoniously dumps you outside and walks in the back making that dust. How dare you! So I gotta guess which hat belongs to... Oh, are you kidding? What, okay, is it this one? One of these things? Yeah, there's your frickin' hat, you fricker. I got it. I didn't get it at first. Okay, so you gotta figure out which hat isn't quite like the other hats. Oh, man. Well, that one moved. So it's gotta be that one. 
Yeah. I'm a little smarter than you think I am, you damn hat bandits. Alright. Someone better move or cough or something. I'm waiting. Oh. How am I supposed to know? Hmm. How, how, how? Lions. I didn't... I did not mean to... Okay. Alright. Alrighty. I'll get it. So how do I know who is the guy? Wait a second. Can I... I can go into the different... I'll just check the different rooms and see if there's any... Hmm. Can I trick him? Can I trick him somehow? Because otherwise I might just have to... Alright, I'm gonna do something stupid. Everybody hang on to your hats. Hat pun. I know. Oh, I was gonna go get him. I was gonna let him get me. So what's the trick here? Brims, brims, brims. Is this a clue? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it you? Is that how I'm supposed to... Is that how I'll know? Nope. How the hell are you supposed to know who's who? You, you got a perk, mostly scabs. What is that? What is that perk? Poked by so many cactuses that your body has built up in an extra set of skin capillaries just to deal with the constant tiny puncture wounds. What's this do? What makes a human being tick and how to stop one from ticking come to that? Okay. How's my HP, actually? 80... I got 272. What if I up my mysticality? wonder if that does anything for me. Alright, let's try it again. It's that one. That just makes sense. Yeah! Alright, I got one of you. And then you'll move. But how am I supposed to tell the rest of y'all? How am I supposed to tell the rest of y'all of them? Hat Room 3. What's the clue in Hat Room 3? Oh, jeez. That's actually pretty obvious when you look at it. Boy, I'm I feel silly. Okay. So what about in here? Um, I just I'm gonna go with that one. I don't feel like that's it, but So what was different about that hat? Shit, I don't know. I got it, I got it. I don't have it, but so you're the you're the first one. That makes sense. Your hat's a different color. This one moves. You just gotta wait for it to happen. Alright, it's you. It's a slight movement, but it's still a movement. The third one, the hat looks like that. Then what's the fourth one? What is the fourth clue? That I just cannot tell you. It's got to be something really unnoticeable, like something so tiny.
You're sleeping. You're sleeping. And if I get closer... I got it. It's this one. It's gotta be that one. They're snoring! You can't- I couldn't tell at first. Oh no, it's that one. Shit, okay. Alright. So then what's the- what's the trick on the fifth one? I've never had to go to such lengths to catch hat- to catch bandits. Oh, come on. Well, it didn't- wasn't doing Z's earlier. My lord. Alright, it's you. And then, assuming that... Because that one's been the same every time. So I have a theory. I... Okay, hold on. I gotta look for the jiggle. You. No, that one hasn't been the same each time. I don't want to blow it. Hat room one. The easy hat. The jacuzzi. Alright. If I don't get it on this one, I'm just going to have to walk away for a little bit. So let's see. Oh. I didn't... I accidentally accused one. Shit, okay. Well, I, I I don't know. I don't know what the fifth room is. I think this one, you just gotta kinda hopefully hope for the best. Yep, I don't know what it is. Alright, well, anyway, that's it for this this playthrough of, uh, of West of Loathing. I've uh, just run out of time. Sorry that one wasn't as exciting as some of the other ones I was trying to figure out the circus and that ate up a whole bunch of time and then I'm bad at finding hat criminals. So, uh, thank you guys for coming back to One Room Over Gaming and uh, until next time, I, you guys know where you can find me. I'll always just be One Room Over. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Alright, you guys take care. Bye.